So one of our main aims is to make Tuamakiti the most or one of the most uh, energy efficient communities in the whole country. My name is Michael Hegarty. I am a member of the Sustainable Energy Community of Tuamakiti. So the Sustainable Energy Committee in Tuamakiti was set up in 2017 when uh, it was promoted by SEAI and uh, Western Development Commission. The Energy Master Plan commenced in 2018. Uh, it's um, started with a study, a desk study of uh, the um, houses and, uh, and other buildings in the community and the energy use and transport as well. 26 million kilowatt hours of energy consumed in this community of uh, just under a thousand homes, which is a massive amount. That, that produces around about uh, 9,000 uh, tonnes of CO2 per year for this little community. And that's, uh, that costs 2.6 million euro um, is being spent on energy in the community. So there's lots of ways that um, the, the energy use uh, and the type of energy can be reduced and, and changed so that uh, the, the people in the community aren't using as much and they are not emitting as much CO2 in the area. And uh, that's what the study has been all about, the energy master plan. And there are, there are steps that uh, we're looking at uh, to reduce the energy and make it more efficient, including um, the possibilities of micro hydroelectricity. Uh, there's been a, an initial feasibility study done uh, on small rivers here, and uh, there's due to be another uh, a, a, a more in depth study, feasibility study done on that uh, in, in the coming months uh, this year, hopefully, with the end of the lockdown. I'm Austin Folan and I'm a member of the Sustainable Energy Community here in Tormakati. Currently we have 10% of the housing stock are 60 houses which currently have been retrofitted in the area, all to a varying uh, degree of um, work done on them. As you can see here from our own house, uh, we have retrofitted with external insulation and we also have solar panels on the roof as well and that's fed into a heat pump which heats the house. Uh, so basically it has got rid of the need for fossil fuels such as uh, turf and oil. Um, and currently our house is, is heated by the solar panels and the uh, air to heat pump. Quite a few of us are taken to the great outdoors here in Trimicadia and walking the roads and cycling the roads of this beautiful area. And when you do that, when you walk and cycle the roads, you, you begin to see how much litter there is in the, in the ditch. You don't see it when you're driving by. Um, so we just said amongst ourselves, like, could you just go out and within 150 metres of your gateway, left and right, just clean that much? And we asked everybody to do, to do that last Saturday. And it was all done. We started at, what, shortly after 11. By 1 o'clock, we had the whole place swept. The redevelopment works at the Procne Forest is a fantastic uh, on its fort over there now, which we commenced in 2016 and we, we finished construction of that in 2017. We did a complete refurb of the existing clubhouse, which was there since 1984. So the external insulation and cladding was done on that. Uh, and we also have uh, around the pitch just recently, we've installed a public walkway with low energy LED lighting. So we're, we're delighted with the use of the facilities. Uh, and uh, the energy costs, it's, it's also so energy efficient. We got tremendous help from SEAI at the time for it. 50% um, grant actually on, on the cost of the, of the equipment. I'm actually the geopark manager of Joyce Country and Western Lakes Geopark project. Uh, it started January 2020. Um, it's a two year project. It uh, covers an area of um, going from Ballantubba and Kitawalia in, uh, in Mayo, uh, right down through both sides of Loch Cara, Mask, and the top half of Loch 
Corrib. Later on this year, in November 2021, there will be an application to UNESCO, United Nations Educational Scientific Cooperation Organization, uh, for geo, uh, global geopark status. And what does that mean? It's, uh, there are about 160 geoparks across the world, quite a number of them in, in Europe. Uh, there's just three in Ireland at the minute and none in Connacht. So geoparks uh, help to um, explain the, the geological heritage of an area and they also um, uh, look at um, promoting um, the idea about how, how, how people live these days, how the geology has impacted on, on the way people live and the landscape, the, the, the way the landscape has been carved out often by glaciation but also uh, mountain building processes and uh, it's uh, the, the, the geopark here has uh, a rock record of 700 million years. Now that's a long long time in anyone's estimation so it's a great opportunity for the area and the office is based right here in Tuamakiri at the moment. Mayo PPN, your voice, your community. Going green for St. Patrick's Day. For more information, visit mayoppn.ie.